What's up everybody, The Force Unboxed here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video uh, sharing my thoughts on the uh, latest Rogue One trailer for you guys. Um, sharing with, uh, with you guys like what my thoughts are and everything like that. I wanted to post a reaction video so much. Um, and I actually, I waited the whole day at work. I knew it was coming in the morning because Good Morning America, that was uh, a part of the tease the, uh, the night before. And then fucking I was like, I toughed it out all day. I said, I'm not going to watch it. Got home and I said, look, because my girlfriend was here, right? So I said, like, look, can you please like go into the other room while I react to this shit? She's like, no, I'm going to sit right here. So I put it on. I started reacting to it. And I was like, fucking like, holy shit. And then she goes, loser. Fuck. So, you know, I was just, um, she kind of ruined that experience for me. Uh, going back and I've, I've rewatched the trailer like at least a hundred times now. It is absolutely fucking phenomenal. Um, very excited for that movie. Very excited for December. And I can't wait for the toys to, uh, finally land for that thing. It's going to be fucking awesome. I can't wait. What's her name? Uh, Jin Urso, I believe it is, uh, who Felicity Jones is playing. Uh, she looks like another, uh, badass female, um, Star Wars character. I could totally get used to this. This is fucking awesome. Um, so that being said, I, uh, oh, I wanted to, I share with you guys, got my copy of, uh, The Force Awakens, uh, Blu-ray, watched all the special features and everything like that, uh, with the exception of, um, the John Williams score, uh, special feature, uh, me and my son, we were flipping through, uh, a bit of the special features the other night, love it, it's absolutely fucking awesome, um, and it's unfortunate I didn't get any of the, uh, like the Best Buy, uh, exclusive steelbook version or anything like that, um, or the Walmart version, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. But uh, in any case, um, I'm absolutely loving this Blu-ray. It is just fucking absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so happy with the content that they stuffed it with. A little bit satisfactory, actually, with the uh, um, with the deleted scenes. Like, while it was awesome to uh, experience more of The Force Awakens, I was certainly hoping that they would put something, just something of Constable Zuvio in there uh, to justify why they marketed him so much. Um not so much, but, you know, I mean, he was out there. Uh, they made a three and three quarter inch figure, and then they made the Black Series figure, um, which was okay, kind of cool. But he has since gone on to become a peg warmer. And I guess we'll never know what his role was in The Force Awakens. I mean, he was definitely on Jakku, and I guess he uh, helps out Rey um, when uh, Unker Slug uh, runs up on her, and she fucking, you know, fucking, and then fucking, like, uh, I guess he comes over at some point. My pizza's done. Um, <laughs> but in any such case, I, uh, back to Rogue One. I fucking enjoyed this trailer so much. I I didn't expect, like, I'm going into this movie totally 110% blind. I'm not looking up anything. Uh, the most I do is, like, I'll Google Rogue One, and I'll say, like, uh, okay, when's the trailer going to be posted? I go on YouTube uh, two days ago now. They got that tiny little clip uh, for Rogue One. And they teased it with the Death, Death Troopers uh, featured in the thing. And I was just like, holy fuck. Like, this is going to be so crazy. And uh, the fact that it was the trailer was dropping the next day, the following day, I was just completely blown away. And I wasn't expecting that. So that they threw me for uh, 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 a curveball, I guess you could say. They threw me a curveball on that one. So, like, I was totally unpredicted, totally out of the blue. Very nice surprise because I actually thought that we were going to get this trailer. Uh, sometime closer around the time to when Captain America Civil War was going to drop, which makes sense because Disney owns Star Wars, Disney owns Marvel, you guys know how it is. Um, so I was just kind of, um, I was super surprised and I watched that trailer and I just, uh, I can't even, like it's just, it, it looks like a war movie, you know what I mean? Like Star Wars, it is putting the war in Star Wars and the fact that like, you know, you can see the fucking Star Destroyers, you see the Death Star and it looks like exactly like the models that they've used back in the 1970s and the 1980s. That is just absolutely fucking phenomenal that they're doing it, and I'm so excited for this movie because it looks like Star Wars. It looks like an excellent throwback to um, the OG trilogy and everything like that, and I'm so stoked for this movie. Uh, that being said, uh, the AT-ATs do look like they have a little bit of an uh, update on them. Not an update, but this is before the um, uh, before uh, all the, uh, you know, uh, A New Hope. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, yada, 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 what have you. Um, they look really good as well, actually. I, I'm really digging that. Like, as soon as that scene... I didn't cry uh, in this trailer um, like I did with The Force Awakens. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, if you guys watched the Getting to Know Me video, you guys know that I just freaking ran outside and I was just fucking like, oh, man, like fucking Star Wars is back, man. Just fucking... Just like a little kid. Um, this one, I, just, I sat down, like, my jaw was dropped. Like, there was no tears until the second time around, when I seen those AT-ATs again, I was just kind of like, 
fucking kidding it was um i was very surprised very a very uh awesome and phenomenal looking movie i can't wait to finally go and see this um you know, uh, Felicity Jones looks like she's going to kick some ass in this movie. Uh, you get to see, um, uh, you know, throwback to uh, OG Stormtroopers and everything like that, the outfits and everything. It just looks like a really great movie. I can't wait to fucking watch this. And who is that kneeling down with the Emperor's Guards uh, in the red um, at either side? Who is that kneeling down and uh, what is he bowing to? I, in a sense, that could be Darth Vader. Uh, I have seen internet speculation that it could even be the Emperor because of the Emperor's Guards. Um but the Emperor doesn't really answer to anybody, you know what I mean? He's the main guy. He's like the fucking puppeteer, the Geppetto, if you will, uh, behind the scenes. So, um, who knows? It could be a cloaked Vader. It could be, uh, maybe could be turning out to be the Emperor. It could be a completely different villain. Who knows? Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this movie, and I can't fucking wait. I can't stress that enough, guys. I've said that at least like four times in this video, but it's just because it looks so goddamn good. Um... Really looking forward to Force Friday. We've had a little bit of news trickle out about that. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be in September this year again. Uh, I'm actually going to be participating this year, and uh, hopefully I get my hand on uh, a lot of good Star Wars goodies. I uh, can't wait to see all the new figures, particularly the Death Troopers. That's going to be an awesome fucking... If they put it out with the Black Series and everything like that, that's going to be like one of the first things I go to grab um, until you know we get to learn a bit more about these characters. Forrest Whitaker, man. What do you think? <laughs> you know, like Forrest Whitaker is awesome. Not hating on him or anything like that. He looks like he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do good uh, in his role. Uh, that being said, you know what I mean with the uh, uh, the old X, the OG X wing. I can't uh, remember for the life of me like what the numbers are and everything like that. But it's being pulled into the station and everything like that. The old school Rebel helmets, like it just looks so fucking good. Mon Mothma, like oh man, I knew exactly who she was right away. I was just like, fucking thank you. Uh, so excited, really happy, and I'm uh, really happy that I finally own this. Uh, the Force Awakens. Um, so yeah, that's a, just a little bit of a, a talk about how I feel about the uh, Rogue One trailer. I'm really sorry I didn't get to react to it. My fucking girlfriend, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to watch The Force Awakens again and again until December rolls around, and uh, then we're going to get finally uh, Rogue One, and I'm going to watch that, and then Episode Eight's going to come out, and I can't wait for that either. Um, I'm going to uh, keep collecting figures. I have a, uh, a few more reviews for you guys. I got Tasu Leech. I got Admiral Akbar. I got, I got another Black Series figure, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember which one. Uh, I'm on the hunt for Ahsoka, uh, Kanan, and um, uh, Luke right now. That was uh, the latest wave to just come out. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited to finally get a hold of those figures. Uh, if they put out some more 3 and 3 quarter inch figures, I definitely want to check those out. I can't wait. Um what a great time to be a Star Wars fan, man. I just, like, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. So much uh, excellent Star Wars content coming out right now. I hear that the series finale to Rebels was phenomenal. I actually haven't checked out Star Wars Rebels Season 2 yet. I'm going to wait for that to come out on Blu-ray. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to enjoy the shit out of that as well. It's just we don't watch a whole lot of cable here. We don't, you know what I mean? Like, Blu-ray, DVD-oriented Netflix. Um, yeah, so... You know, what a time to be a Star Wars fan, man. You're like, who could have predicted uh, that Disney would just bless us with like a heap of Star Wars things, just fucking smack in your lap and everything like that. A uh, ton of Star Wars merchandise. I can't wait. Um, yeah, anticipating Force Friday. So that just about wraps up my uh, my brief little recap and my thoughts on the Rogue One trailer. Um, sharing uh, my thoughts on the Force Awakens Blu-ray. Get two thumbs up, fucking Roger Ebert. Um like I said, okay, so like I, I love it, guys. So, so you guys know my thoughts and everything like that. I'm wrapping up this video right now. I just keep fucking wanting to talk about it. Um, if you guys want to talk about Star Wars, leave a comment down below. Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm not too active on Instagram. Uh, just getting back in touch with my Twitter as well, uh, at The Force Unboxed for both of those guys. Um, and thanks again, as always, for watching, guys. Cheers, and may the Force be with you. <laughs>